Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you this dramatic liner and a vampy lip tutorial. I'm really really loving this look and I can't wait to wear this for the autumn time. I think it's really really easy to achieve and it just includes a lot of eyeliner. So the first step is going to be applying our primer. This is the Dior Air Flash CC Primer and I'm really loving this at the moment. It's really soft and natural. So I'm just applying this all over my skin to prep it before my foundation application. And next I'm just going to be buffing in my foundation as normal, it's my normal Match Master foundation and yeah I'm just buffing that everywhere. I'm using this eBay brush again and I'm really really loving it, I'm going to try and find the link of where I bought it because it's so so cheap but it's really really good so I've really been loving it for just quickly applying my foundation. Next I'm just filling in my brows and I'm using my brow bar to go by Whitening Lightning to just um, fill out the hairs and to give myself more of an arch. I will leave in the description box my discount code again so that you can receive a discount on this product and all over the website. So yeah, just filling through my eyebrows as normal and I'm now applying my eyeshadow primer. This is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray as usual and just applying this all over the lid and this is going to make all the eyeshadow and eyeliner stick to my eye and make sure that it doesn't move. So I'm just rubbing this in with my finger. Then I'm going to be applying this gold Kiko eyeshadow all over the lid. This is really nice because it's really similar to Whisper of Guilt by MAC so I like to use this as a highlight as well. So I'm just applying this all over the lid. And I'm keeping the eyeshadow quite natural today because we're using so much eyeliner. So I'm just using it for a little bit of shimmer. Then I'm going to be using Uninterrupted by MAC and this is just a really nice yellow toned brown. And I'm applying this into my crease just for a small amount of definition. And these are the only two eyeshadows that I'm actually going to be using. So I'm just using a big fluffy blending brush to just diffuse this all over the crease area. Now I'm going to take my gel eyeliner and begin. The eyeliner that I'm using is really good because it doesn't dry too quickly and it still has a little bit of mobility. I, that's why I sometimes don't like to use the Inglot one because it just dries way too quickly and I feel like there's not much, you, you don't have a lot of time, whereas this one you can take your time a little bit with it. So what I'm doing is I'm just carefully going over my lash line, gradually building up a line that just rims the top of my eye. And the brush that I'm using is a really, really small detail brush, and this is from Zoeva. I will write everything down in the description box, but it's really, really small, so I found it really easy to do the detail work. And I find that when I'm doing a an eyeliner look, it's a lot easier to gradually build up thickness rather than going straight into it, because I feel like if you go straight into it, a lot of the times you're going to most likely go wrong, so if you just gradually build it up, it just prevents yourself from going wrong and having to fix it. So once that's all over the lid, I'm going to start to drag out the tail of the eyeliner, so I'm just going to align the line with my bottom lash line and drag it outwards. So I'm just pulling that towards the tail of my brow and this is obviously quite dramatic so if you're going to have it a little bit smaller you can do so and then I'm just going to begin to connect the line to the rest of the eyeliner on my lid. And I'm just going to very gradually start to thicken that. And I'm also going to drag it outwards a little bit further so it's almost going to be at the same place of where my eyebrow tail ends. 
and then I'm going to thicken it once again so I'm just very gradually going over and over it making it thicker and thicker each time rather than just taking big chunks and making it too thick too quickly and I just feel like it always ends up more successful when I do it that way so I just gradually go over it it also helps to be looking straight into the mirror as well so if you can see I always um, sort of look straight into the mirror every now and again and that just means that I can see where my crease is opening and stuff like that that way your uh, wing doesn't get lost in the crease next I'm going to be doing the inner corner of the eyeliner and I'm basically just going to be doing a little triangle that sort of Arabic triangle on the inner corner and I'm just dragging that inwards on the bottom lash line so I've just basically connect the bottom and the top by a little corner and then I am going to be dragging that line all the way to the end tail and that way every single line that we've applied all connects with each other so as you can see I'm just slowly going underneath my lash line and going to be connecting that inner corner with a line to the outer corner Again, I'm just going to very, very slowly, gradually thicken it. Next, I'm just going to be using that same eyeliner with the same brush and putting that onto the waterline, and this is just going to give it further definition. I also went ahead and applied my lashes. I applied some on the top and the bottom and I felt like it just gave me more definition. So both lash styles will be written in the description box below. Now I'm just highlighting certain areas of my face. I'm highlighting under my eyes, my cupid's bow and my chin. And I feel like this just helps my face shape to look more shapely. <laughs> So I'm just rubbing that in with my finger and the highlighter that I'm using is Light Boost by MAC. I've been absolutely loving this lately. I used to use it a lot but recently I've just fell in love with it all over again. Just rubbing that in with my finger and patting it and also swiping it. Then I'm just going to be bronzing. This is the Bobbi Brown bronzer in Golden Light and now I'm taking Bahama Mama to contour and I'm taking that on a smaller contouring brush and just applying it to the hollow of my cheek. Then I'm going to take that same eyeshadow I put on my lid and using it as my highlight. It's a really really pretty colour and it's meant to be a dupe for MAC Whisper of Guilt. It's not quite the same but I can see where people are coming from when they say that's a dupe. It's a very similar colour. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my cupid's bow. Next I'm going to take Night Moth Lip Pencil by MAC and just apply this all along my lip line and I'm also going to be filling in my lip with this as well. So I'm just going to be going along my lip line and just gradually fill it in. This lip pencil is a really nice dark purple and the sort of look I wanted to go for was a very dark wine colour so I ended up going on top of this with a red lipstick so you'll see in a sec so once I've applied that lip liner all over it feels really dry like this I, I know loads of people love applying a lip liner all over but I can't stand just having a lip liner I had to put a lipstick on top of it because it's very dry on its own but I really did like this colour on its own to be honest it looks really nice so I'm going to take Fire Engine by Gerard Cosmetics and I start to apply it to the centre of my lip and that also gives a slight gradient effect but I'm going to start to sort of rub my lips together and create a really nice dark purpley red wine colour. So guys, once your lipstick is on, your look is complete. It's definitely something a little bit different considering it's all about the lips and the liner, but it's definitely something that everyone can try. So don't forget to comment, like and subscribe guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.